What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about strange things that Norwegians do. That's right, Norwegians, all your strange secrets and strange behaviors are going to be exposed today. <laughs> but honestly, I love learning about strange stuff, strange behavior. Who wants to be normal? Being normal is so boring. I love strange stuff. And what's funny is stuff that's completely normal to Norwegians is going to come off as strange to Americans like myself. And I'm sure there's lots of stuff that Americans do that Norwegians would find very strange. But today, we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on strange behaviors that Norwegians do. I'm very, very interested to, to learn about this topic. This is has a couple of things to do with like Norwegian social behavior and some other stuff. So I'm very curious what the, uh, <laughs> the interesting strange behaviors are going to be. So let's take a look. Strange, slightly awkward things Norwegians do. This is not meant to be an offensive video whatsoever. Obviously not, not every single Norwegian is acting like this. This is just what the majority do because it's in our nature and we're being brought up this way. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, it's not a negative thing. It's not a negative thing at all. Uh, and in different countries, different kind of stuff is considered normal. And that's like, yeah, it's all, this is all in good fun, to be honest. Without any further ado, let's just jump right into this video. <laughs> okay, so number one is when you're talking to a Norwegian or if Norwegians are having a conversation with each other. If you're ever like hearing people talk to each other from Norway, you would find that most people are making these extremely weird sounds while someone is talking. And <laughs> weird sounds. What kind of sounds are Norwegians making? while having conversations with each other. Weird sounds. And they sound like this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Is this like, I think this is Norwegian's way of like letting each other know that they're paying attention to what you're saying. It's like to be polite, right? Like, mm, mm. I mean, that's not exactly something that Americans would do. Uh, I guess Americans have a version of this. Americans would, in the middle of conversations, be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, right, right, uh-huh, huh, yeah, like that, which is, gosh, when I think about it, like, kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Uh, and this is like the Norwegian version, mm, like that kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, that's basically what we do when we're having a conversation, and this is just... Yeah, I mean, I have to admit, if you if you made these noises uh, to Americans, we would be a little confused. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I know this now. Uh, I would be like, what sound is that? What does that mean? Like, I would be a little confused just us letting you know that we are following your conversation yeah that we're really 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 listening to what you're saying i know exactly yeah 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 exactly that's what i thought it's to let you know that you're paying attention like i i think every country has a version of this it's just our <laughs> we sound strange to each other <laughs> it's pretty strange <laughs> and <laughs> yeah the other thing <laughs> i'm going to talk about is personal space. So Norwegians okay. have a quite massive zone which they consider their personal space. I know that Norwegians really like their personal space, um, which I appreciate, honestly. I like that. Don't expect that to be respected in the United States, but I, I <laughs> people are not going to give you your personal space very much in the United States, but I like this idea. How big is the proper zone of personal space. So if you're ever having a conversation with a Norwegian or talking to a Norwegian group or something and you kind of notice that some people kind of pulls away a little bit or takes a step back or yeah. something like that, it's not us trying to end the conversation or not wanting to talk to you, it's just huh. that you are kind of invading our personal space. Oh, that's actually really, really important to know. I think a lot of Americans would, uh, 
would get way too close to Norwegians. Because Americans get pretty close to each other when we're talking. We don't have much of a concept of personal space, to be honest. Just a little bit, like two feet, th three feet, basically, it would be acceptable. If you're a stranger, maybe a little more than that. But it's good to know Norwegians will back away to their comfort zone. And it's not to be rude. It's just normal Norwegian culture, normal, normal amount of personal space. Okay. Speaking of personal space, I'm going to talk about the thing I find the most funny about Norway, <laughs> and that is public transportation. This is the craziest okay. thing I know because <laughs> I just think it's ridiculous. This happens on almost every single public transportation, but okay. I'm going to go with buses. But if you're walking onto a bus in Norway at a time that isn't rush hour, you would notice that people tend to sit where there are two unoccupied chairs. Right. Seats? Seats. We have a massive personal space as I- You know, I, again, I kind of like that. Um, don't expect this in the United States. People will, oh my gosh, especially in cities, Americans will sit right next to you like it's totally common. People will touch you by accident or <laughs> god forbid on purpose <laughs> they people just won't care if they touch you by accident or whatever if the if the bus is moving and if like americans really don't care especially in big cities so i actually really like the norwegian way i think we should have a little more respect for personal space so i actually i don't think this is that strange i i like this I just said and it's especially large when we are with strangers so if they, if it's people we don't know around us we really like to kind of keep our distance I'm not done. yeah yeah um so when it's rush hour on the bus is it okay to be a little squished together is that when it's kind of okay and you probably have to sit next to each other if it's rush hour if it's very very busy on the bus then Norwegians like kind of grit their teeth and they're like, okay, I'm going to make an exception here because there's so many people, basically. Done with the public transportation, guys, because this is a madhouse. So when you're in the <laughs> bus, rule number one is do not get eye contact with anybody. So the ideal seat, obviously, is the one next to the window because then you can look outside at the beautiful nature that are flowing by outside of the window. No eye contact? Ah, <laughs> that is, that, <laughs> I, it's funny because thinking about this in the United States, like, people will stare at you. People will look you in the eyes. People will stare at you. They don't care. Americans don't care. That's basically the theme of today. Americans will get close to you. They'll stare at you. Like, people will be rude without even meaning to be. Like, it, it's, it's a free for all. So hearing about this, don't make eye contact, is funny. It's There's just a lot more built-in levels of respect in Norway, I think. If you're not sitting by the window, the only solution is to open your book or turn on your phone or do anything that wouldn't require you to look around the bus. The main goal hmm. is not to meet the eyes of someone we do not know. And also... Don't make eye contact with someone you don't know. Is it considered rude? Like, why can't you do that? Is it considered staring and rude? It's considered rude in America to stare. People just do it anyway. Like, <laughs> basically, <laughs> Norwegians, from what I can tell, are very empathetic, very concerned about others and respecting others. Americans are only concerned about themselves. I'm generalizing a bit, but... That's the biggest difference I'm noticing. This actually applies to people we do know. Because when we're on the public transportation, we don't know anyone. And the reason for that is that we are the worst talkers ever. We hate to small talk. We just don't <laughs> see the point of having like really shallow conversations about the weather and whatnot. And, and there's not as much small talk in Norway. That's another big difference. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't think that's weird. It is different. This is all very different. Very, very different to American culture.
but I don't think it's strange. Like, I, I can understand it. It, Man, but if I, I feel like if I was experiencing this, uh, I would be a little uh, surprised. I would be taken aback a little bit. Like, wow, no one is coming near me. No one is looking at me. No one is trying to talk to me. I would... Initially, I would be surprised. I'd be like, wow, this is a little odd. <laughs> and because we don't see the point of those conversations, we are extremely awkward while talk <laughs> small talking. So okay. if you ever would want to have the most horrible, awkward conversation of your entire life, <laughs> try to small talk with a Norwegian and see what happens. Okay, got it. Don't start small talk with Norwegians. Got it. So another fact I have for you is that Norwegians are extremely informal. So if you're ever kind of meeting someone for the first time in Norway or you're studying here or something like that, you would never have to call anybody by the last name. So that's just not uh. something we do. So if you're meeting someone for the first time. Okay. I think this is the same in America. Like, yeah, no one really calls each other by their last name. Uh, that... I think that's common in like Asian countries, to be honest. We will always present ourselves with the first names. We will obviously do the handshake, but if I were presenting myself to you, I would say, hi, my name is Caroline, and I would mean yeah. for you to call me Caroline like forever. <laughs> the okay, yeah, that is informal compared to some other countries around the world, but America is pretty informal as well. Next thing I want to talk about is the way we are being brought up. From an early age, mm. we are being taught the jantelov, which is basically a law teaching us to be very modest about ourselves. And that's why you will often find if you're giving a Norwegian a compliment, it will be extremely awkward about it because we don't really know how to accept your compliment in a way that really shows our appreciation. And wow, that is so interesting. That is, that is so different to America. Like, Norwegians don't know how to take compliments. Uh, I, I, I appreciate that Norwegians are raised to be very humble. I, I really respect that. I like that a lot. Um, Americans, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm really discovering in this video how different Americans and Norwegians are. Americans are almost taught to be to think that we are the best. It is good to be confident and think you're the best and try to be the best. And we also compliment each other a lot and people, we aren't awkward about it. Americans love compliments. Americans love a compliment. and will be like, thank you, thank you. That, that's true, I am the best. Like, <laughs> so wow, what a big difference. Yeah, Americans view confidence as like a, a really strong attribute to like get ahead in life. You gotta be really self-confident, really think you're the best, and we think that will help you uh, get further in life, basically. And since we've been brought up to be very modest about ourselves, we will not just randomly start to talk about ourselves. We will uh. most likely start to talk about ourselves if you're asking us any questions mm. or if it's kind of required to talk about ourselves. So if you are ever near a Norwegian or you're in a Norwegian group or you're near a random Norwegian and you're talking and if you talk a lot about yourselves and you're bragging a lot, you would find that most Norwegians would try to end the conversation as soon as possible and get the heck away from you because you just cannot ah so norwegians don't really like that norwegians would not like an american just blabbing on about themselves they would think okay this guy is not very cool he's very self-centered and i i totally understand that i think uh americans would probably do that by accident and not realize that they're being a bit rude talking about ourselves so that's actually really good to know norwegians just to have, Norwegians just seem to have a different level of respect for each other. Uh, that's on a, just a different level than Americans. Not to deal with bragging. I actually have the longest list ever of facts and stuff like that about Norway and Norwegians. So if you enjoyed this video and you would <laughs> like to see more, please give me a thumbs up. Also give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video and... I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, okay. This was by Kagaland. And I will give it a thumbs up. That was very enjoyable. What a fun look into Norwegian social customs. 
in particular. And I have to say, compared to America, this is very strange to learn about. From my point of view, this must sound completely normal to Norwegians, but from my point of view, this is all very strange behavior. It's like the opposite of American behavior. It's, it's so strange, man. Uh, but I like it. Like in America, Norwegians would still be very, very highly respected in America because there are still people in America who believe you should be humble. There are those of us who do think you shouldn't boast and talk about yourself all the time and that you should respect people's personal space and all that stuff. So there are Americans who, who would really appreciate the Norwegian social culture, kind of like me. Like, I, I really enjoy hearing about it because I, uh, I kind of wish American social culture was a little more similar to Norway, to be honest. So I, I really, really enjoyed learning about this. This was a, a great insight into some stuff I didn't know about Norwegians. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. Uh, if you're, and if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture, stuff in Norway I've never learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.